here are three awesome facts about Batman Arkham that I'm sure you never knew about. In Batman Arkham Asylum Remastered, there is a mistake in the game that not many people realised. After taking out Joker's Titans, Joker fires a dart at Commissioner Gordon. In order to foil Joker's plans, Batman dives in front of Commissioner Gordon to take the hit with the dart instead. The funny thing about this scene is that if we freeze on a few frames here, you could have easily missed that these frames are actually from the original Arkham Asylum cutscene. As we can tell, the remastered has the weird lips which the original didn't. From what I can guess is the people remaking the cutscenes were unable to recreate the way that Batman's muscles were twitching. In order to save time or effort, they decided to reuse the scene from the original and hoped no one would notice. Did you notice this? In Batman Arkham Knight, Lex Luthor makes a cameo appearance in this game. Lex Luthor has been referenced a bunch of times in the Arkham universe, even making an appearance on screen in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. There is an even more obvious reference to Lex in the previous game, with LexCorp being Lex Luthor's business in Gotham. But the main easter egg I want to focus on is, if we go to Wayne Tower, we can find a phone with a bunch of voicemails featuring Vicky Vale, Cassandra Khan, Kate Kane, and Lex Luthor, who looks for a response from Bruce for an offer that LexCorp had placed to buy Wayne Tech from him. Mr. Wayne, Lex Luthor calling. Apologies for going via your direct line, but I grow tired of these games. LexCorp has made a very generous offer for Wayne Tech's Applied Sciences Division, yet your persistent unavailability begins to look less like a busy schedule and more like deliberately antagonistic behavior. Come now, meet with me. I'm sure we can come to an agreement. A man of your refined taste doesn't need an Applied Sciences Division after all. He needs another billion dollars. Let me know if you knew this detail. Shout out to Ben Diaz for this fact. In Arkham Origins, it is revealed that Bane figures out Batman's secret identity. Now, it wasn't completely clear to me how exactly Bane came to this conclusion originally, but at the start of the game, an interview plays between Bruce Wayne and Vicky Vale. At this interview, Vicky is confused why the billionaire eligible bachelor is spending another Christmas Eve alone. To avoid going into further detail or increasing suspicion, Bruce replies that you just ran out of time. This quote is quite important. As further into the story, we come face to face with Bane on the Royal Hotel and after quite an intense boss battle, Bruce gets quite lucky as the GCPD helicopters show up just in time to break up the fight. Batman mocks Bane by using the same line, you just ran out of time. Bane notices how Batman and Bruce Wayne use the exact same quote and that they sound exactly the same when they say it, so he comes to the conclusion that they are in fact the same person. This is why when Batman finds the computer that displays the truth of Batman's identity, it loops the same quote repeatedly, you just ran out of time. Let me know if you noticed this when you first played. If you want to find out more details about the Batman Arkham games, click on these videos attached. Be sure to like and subscribe. My name is Foe and Slan.